This is a normal Stardew Valley farm. And this is my farm. Nope, just, just, just a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller. Just a tiny bit more, tiny bit more. There we go. Oh boy. Here it is. Wow, um, it's kind of weird to be able to see the entire farm in literally one screen. Here, I, I zoomed in a little. That just feels more comforting because I can like actually like feel like I have more more farm than I do. Okay, you know, lying to yourself isn't the way to do this. Honestly, like I'm just gonna clear a good chunk of it right now because it's just so small. Sorry, I mean average. Oh yeah, sorry to cut in, but my main goal for this series is to complete the community center, which is honestly harder than you might think. Yeah, no, no, realistically, this is like, this is all the farm you need. I don't think, I don't think you could really need much more. Now oh, we can see some wonderfully bugged leaves. There's no stumps, which means I'm not gonna have very much hardwood, but uh, that's fine, I guess. I quickly gathered some wood from my limited trees to make a quick chest so I could store some stuff, then checked out the backwoods and the mountains for a couple of quick forageables, and then made my way over to Pierre's to buy my crops. Just went ahead and checked. I am going to need to buy at least seven potatoes to reach farming level one so I can get a scarecrow. So yeah, that's that's probably gonna be my top priority. You know what? I'm honestly tempted to just plant all these parsnips, cause but I mean I guess as, as long as I just as long as I just keep keep the amount of crops I've planted below 15, I won't have to when the heck did I get this? I <laughs> I was too busy yammering on to notice how my blind was sitting right in my hotbar. Okay, well, that's pretty good. We'll find out where I got that. I'll just do a quick replay on screen. Nice. Uh, okay. I guess we just have an ancient seed now. Very cool. And with these two crops, we have just enough inventory space. And also, that is all the stuff we need for the community center. Knocked out right on day one, and we haven't even checked the bottom left-hand corner either. Oh, wait, I'm an idiot. I didn't even sell these seeds. What am I doing? I just checked Cindersap Forest for any forageables since you can normally find a lot of them down there and surprisingly enough, there actually weren't any, only some spring onions which I grabbed then went to bed. Fishing is probably going to be just as important as it always is, so I guess let's just spend most of the day doing that, right? I am going to bring a hoe because when I can't get those artifact spots, just a, a little bit of me dies inside every time. Nice, and this cutscene's previewing to me that there's a bubble spot. I was gonna just run right up to the mountain, but I guess I'm gonna fish on this bubble spot for a bit. I fished until about 11 a.m. when the bubble spot ran out, and I thought really hard about selling all my fish, but then changed my mind and ran home and dropped it all off. I fished at the mountain lake the rest of the day since it is the best place to make money in spring, and I didn't really want to fish at the beach since it's just worse for money in every way. Hey, Sebastian. How's it going, man? Thank you for hanging out with me here. Shout out Sebastian, he's never been my favorite, but he's here to hang out with me. What a nice guy. If I had a gift I knew he would like, I'd give it to him. Nice. Level one, level two, level three. And okay, level three, that's not too bad. Bunch of fish are on the ground, so I'm gonna go grab those since they won't disappear. But you know, it just makes me nervous just have them li having them lie in there. I think I'm also gonna sell as many fish as I can just to see if I can buy a fiberglass rod. I should grab that bait then just cause if I do buy it, 50 bait is actually gonna really help me. In case you can't tell, I'm, I'm kind of tryharding on this save. Just may maybe a little bit because you know, we have a small farm so I gotta kind of step it up. How much money we'd normally be making from crops into other areas. A quick collection of all the fish I was gonna sell and a sprint down to Willie's store led to this. So we're gonna need 1800. That's 200. Ooh, we might actually have to sell like basically all of them. Yeah, I think we do. We're gonna be so short. Okay. No. Okay, wait. Here. We will sell eight bait to have just enough for a fiberglass pole. Not ideal, but whatever. It works. All right, future Wally Gug, tell me, tell me how the fishing went, okay? G give me the update. I like how time freezes when you're catching a fish, so it's like <laughs> Mayor Lewis is just like observing you, like, oh wow, he's catching a fish, but I better stop and watch real quick. <laughs> it's so funny. Future Wally Gug here. Sorry if there are any rude interruptions. Editor just probably thought there was some something funny I said during it, so you know. But yeah, uh, past Wally Gug, things went pretty well. We got three catfish, which is okay. You know, a bunch of other fish. There's tons of stuff lying on the ground. Can't really see it since the menu's like blocking it. Wait here. There, now you can see it. Got some artifacts and whatnot. We 
didn't quite hit fishing five, which I'm a little upset about, but you know, we'll get it tomorrow. So uh, I guess let's just pass out. There we go. I got a bit more wood right away on spring four. Since with all the fish I was saving for my level five fishing level up for the 25% extra sell price, it was clogging on my chest big time. I then just indulged in a casual eight-ish hours of straight fishing with zero breaks. We used our last piece of bait and we did just get 20 more from a chest, but I'm finished fishing because my inventory is so full. But yeah, we hit level five fishing and we have loads of fish. So I'm gonna, I got like what, three hours left and more like five. I can pass out since I leveled up. So I'm just gonna run home, do a couple trips, pick everything up. Uh, maybe just, maybe eat one or two fish, chop down some trees. Uh, but then yeah, we'll, we'll be able to suddenly get a lot of money. And I think we should have enough time left to plant harvest potatoes if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's on the 13th of spring. So we should have plenty of time. Oh yeah, I also got a diamond. So that's 750 gold. So uh, that's gonna make my life very easier. Very easier. Good one, buddy. All right. I ate a couple of fish. So I'll just, I think I'm going to spend the rest of today till I run out of energy, just probably clearing up the farm since I'm going to be planting a lot of stuff tomorrow. Tree in the rock. We're going to adopt this cat, even though we're kind of low on space. We're going to name it, um, Mandala because I, I don't know, man, I feel like it. Oh wait, I think I was an idiot and didn't water yesterday. My plan today was to sell all my fish and buy a bunch of potatoes to get my money up. Also, I wanted an excuse to make this cool edit, guys. Watch this. Man, that never gets old. I'm telling you. It might if I keep doing it throughout this video, but I'm going to keep doing it because it's so awesome. Oh, yay. Community center unlocked. Wait. Oh, I... You know, I'm just gonna sell all these fish. I'm sure I'll be able to catch any other ones I need. I was gonna like save them, but that is just way too much work. All right, batch one, a cool 3.3K. And second load of fish for this much more. Wow, that's like really good. We have a lot of money, cool. So the question is how many potatoes am I willing to water? That's a very good question. Today is pretty much just gonna be the day where I like actually attend to my like responsibilities outside of just like fishing. So before before I do anything, I'm just gonna kind of run around, check my trash cans, grab forageables and whatnot. And while I do that, I'm gonna kind of think about how many potatoes I wanna buy. I'm hesitant to buy too many since we still aren't gonna have scarecrows, but I kind of do wanna take a gamble and just like pray to the good Lord. Like I'm not religious personally, but I'm gonna pray big time that it won't eat that one seed. If it doesn't eat that seed, I will just be the happiest man alive. I think we're gonna buy 50 potato seeds. Maybe I'll buy a few salads for the mine too. So we'll go with 50. There we go. Anything else we really want? I mean, not really, right? Don't really need any anything like that. It is tempting to buy more, but I just I just don't know if I want to commit to watering them to be quite frank. And then, you know what? Let's sell our diamond and uh, donate these gemstones. Then we'll see how much money we have left. Just over 6,000. I also need to remember how much salad even costs. 220, we're gonna buy five. Might be a little excess, but I, I do think it'll, it'll probably be worth it. And then, you know, I talk big game, but will my farm even be able to fit 50 potatoes? Also for the memes, I think I might plant these cauliflower seeds somewhere else and see if I can just get a, a giant cauliflower for funsies. You know, a giant cauliflower on a tiny farm, situational irony, a dramatic irony. I don't know, one of those. All right, nine cauliflower, 50 odd potatoes. Life is going good, except for my hand when I'm gonna have to water this all tomorrow. But it's gonna rain, oh my God. Thank the good Lord. The rest of the day, I just collected a little bit more wood so I could snag myself another chest and only made one minor miscalculation. Okay. That's that's two, that's a potato and a thing gone. Okay. We've we've won the lottery once so far. We just gotta keep getting lucky. Alright. Time for the mines. I didn't bring my chest. Um okay. All right, I'm back. I restarted the day. Screw that. Let's hope I did not check the lock. Uh, hopefully it's a good luck day. We'll see. See at the bottom of the mines, hopefully. This is an insane copper vein. That is crazy. 
We are already somehow at 28 copper on floor 4. And already out of inventory, just like I expected. <laughs> I'm very glad I decided to restart the day. We are, however, also out of energy very quick. Which is gonna seriously halt our progression. If we, like, we wouldn't even be close to out if we hadn't gotten exhausted like that. But hey, what can you do? You know, life goes on. Wow, that is unbelievably lucky. I didn't even know that could happen. I just got the wooden club, which is gonna make literally every single monster trivial. Because this does like eight times as much damage as the thing, and I can also combo with it. All right, got me some boots. Gonna do a quick drop off. And then I think I'm just gonna eat this and this to get two more inventory slots. A sword I will keep because I can sell. But yeah, I literally don't, I don't even need it. Oh, that sword is definitely gonna get deleted. Yeah, that, that sword's gone. Yep. <laughs> Whoopsies. Whatever, I didn't want it anyways. I kept mining until 1 a.m. and reached floor 35, so halfway through the really annoying dark floors, but I decided I was not making another five floors in 50 minutes, so I set up a quick smelting setup and farmed copper till I passed out. All right, we're leveling up, finally. We got some potato- some taters. What the hell is my cat doing? Jesus Christ, man, get out of there. I didn't even notice that. Well, he's gone now. See ya, Mandela. Very cool. Oh yeah, we can also visit the visit the wizard today. And I will also, you know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll kill some slimes. All right, all right, all right. So the plans today. My oh, plans wait. consisted of quickly checking the traveling cart, looking for anything I might need for the community center or just useful to have around. Unlocking the community center. Okie dokie, community center unlocked. Donating my forgeables to the newly unlocked community center. All right, this is done. Might plant these, might not really haven't decided if I want to bother yet. Uh, if I was, I think I'd probably use sprinklers, I think. Get out of my damn way, Junimo. And then smelting through my copper backlog while I'm fishing. Two birds with one stone. Whoa, okay. Okay, Sebastian, we, we are not this close yet, buddy. Uh, could- <laughs> M Mom taking a step back, my friend. And you know what? This is a, this is a good point. Good point to call the day. I think. So, uh, let's head home. Actually, wait, I'm really scared this is gonna get, like, ran over. So I'm going to bring as much home as I can. You know what? I'll be fishing up here mainly, so I'll leave that. Nice. Okay. I'm totally gonna forget and be like, where the heck is my fishing rod? Like a dumbass. Literally the worst possible basic sprinkler setup. Okay, well, I already messed it up. Sorry, one second. You guys are about to witness the worst basic sprinkler setup ever seen. My goal is to just have a basic sprinkler covering all of these. Okay, we could only fit that many. And also it's probably the ugliest thing I've ever created. But uh, yeah, at least we'll be leveling up our foraging. <laughs> Wow, okay, this farm is unfathomably ugly, but it's fine. It works, that's all that matters. And the ancient seed is intact, that is all that matters. We can't afford the energy to craft another scarecrow, so we're gonna have to stick with one for now. If I place it well, I might be able to cover everything, but I, I don't think so. Like, like this is gonna cover most things, at least most important things. It's okay, I know I was gonna leave this. I, I know I said I was gonna leave this tree, but it's really peeving me. Oh yeah, my giant cauliflower pipe dream is gone, unfortunately, because a crow ruined my life again. Unlucky. My plans for the rest of the day were pretty much just to keep mining and hopefully reach floor 40 so I can get some iron up and going and grab myself those basic sprinklers so I can fill in my incompleted, very ugly, forageable setup. Oh my god, okay. I spaced out. I was accidentally carrying my default fishing rod instead of grabbing my weapon and screw mining without a weapon, especially since one of the things I wanted to do was to get the slimes completed, but yeah, I don't know. Okie dokie, we have officially reached the ice levels. Okay, I'm gonna spend all that on that, and then holy crap, I messed up. Wait, I have to get home. No! I was gonna upgrade my pickaxe, but there's no way I'm gonna make it. Okay, we can maybe make it. Go, 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 go. No, I'm pretty sure he closes it four. Man. No, it's four. Man. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just go farm iron then while I wait. Wow, okay, well, um, we have some rice now. Gold rice. You know, maybe we'll do something with that eventually. Unlikely though, because it's kind of useless, but whatever. All right, well, I got a couple of things that are top priority today. Don't have the inventory space to spare, so the old rod's gotta go. But hey, 
you know, it served its purpose. My plans for today included quickly knocking out the Adventurer's Guild quest and killing my 10 slime so I could get in if I ever needed to sell or buy something, then just fishing since it was raining and catfish days always make a lot of money. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I also upgraded my copper to pickaxe so I could work towards iron so I could break those stupid stones on my farm. All right, copper pickaxe, nice. Then we're gonna go straight up to iron. A stupendous day of fishing. $2,800 is a very cool verb based. 15K earned, not too bad. I did not realize like how fast this stuff spreads. Oh wait, we might actually have a tr problem. Huh, I really hope these rocks don't destroy they don't destroy any of my crops, cause that would suck. And I can't really do anything about it. Like I could use a bomb, but that would probably just destroy more crops than I would have saved anyways. I searched around in my chest for a little bit after that to look for some bug meat so I could craft some bait for my fishing rod since I wanted to fish a lot again today and I was getting pretty low, but I couldn't find any. So I had to waste a little bit of time and run over the mines to look for it there. Here we go. That is the bug meat we wanted. 126 should be more than good enough. Also, there's a bubble spot here, which is great. My main goal for fishing right now, besides obviously just making money, is I really want to catch the legend fish because I think that'd just be kind of cool to do. It's really annoying to hit level 10 without using food. So I'm going to see if I can get to like 7, 8, 9, probably 8 or 9, and then just use some food. Because I know for a fact I can use trout soup to get to level 10 if I'm level 9, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I could also probably get a plus 2 fishing boost, which would obviously save me a lot of time because 8 to 9 does take a, a pretty long amount of time. But that's just a pipe dream. We're already one third through and we're only level 6. And that might seem good, but you know, leveling's exponential, so we will see if we actually make it. I fished for the entire day, literally until I could barely walk home. I was about to fish till I passed out, but then I remembered I actually have money to lose. But yeah, I would not, I did not want to lose a thousand gold there. And yeah, I was totally right. Oh, but nice, we have potatoes. Okay. And that's perfect because we are able to set up basic sprinklers because uh, we'll level up because yeah, farming too. And that gets us basic sprinklers. So we'll set those up tomorrow probably. Oh yeah, we're also going to make like a lot of money from these, but you know, not the most important. Oh wow, 500 gold. Thank you. And that's another free 250. And I'm spacing out. So I didn't see the notification, but I think we can pick up our pickaxe too. All right. My inventory is packed. That's a good thing because it's a busy day. Like I said, I had big plans today. So I decided to wait until later to water and filled up my inventory with everything I needed to make today very productive. Stop number one was to donate some of my spring crops to the spring crop bundle, then sell all my potatoes for a cool 7k gold. Okay, that's gonna be 4,300. Okay, nice. And finally, I got my copper pickaxe and donated some more gemstones I've been holding onto for later, then used my new pickaxe to farm the rest of the day for copper and iron. And finally, at the end of the day, I filled my inventory full of fish and legged it home as fast as I could, since I'd been leaving some out there in a chest. And they were pr probably like starting to, to get bad or something. I don't know. All right. Very cool. Very, very epic day. Just going to run home, sell these fish, head to bed. Kind of forgot I had them up there, honestly. So it's kind of just like finding, it's, you know, like when you find, find like 20 bucks in an old coat pocket, like a winter coat pocket. That is one of the few perks of being extremely forgetful is that you just <laughs> sometimes surprise yourself for literally no work. It's great. And that's what I was waiting for, the sprinkler and like mayonnaise machine. Oh, and apparently level 32 is Pete Grow, nice. Oh my gosh, and we've made the 25K. Let's go, dude. Uh, honestly? Okay, you know what? I'm not even aiming for year one completion, so we're gonna go mushrooms just cause, you know, I don't know. I'm just kind of feeling mushrooms, you know what I mean? The rare case of me choosing mushrooms. Egg festival tomorrow. Okay, we got 19K. So I think it's just barely, I think it's just, it's just time to like start preparing for sprinklers, I think. And farm I did. I managed to farm up a little bit over 50 iron ore or around 13 bars, which is a pretty good start. I was gonna need more since I needed to do forageables as well. Since I set them up for sprinklers, it would be kind of dumb, but it's a decent start and we'll cover a couple of my strawberries and basically all my forageables. All right, well, uh, I guess, I guess I'll go ahead and buy myself probably like 75 seeds. I'll, I'll definitely have to do some hand watering, but, uh, I can live. I can live with that. I mean, I guess I got some time. I'll go pre-water all the tiles. Uh, 
Okay. 75 strawberry seeds acquired. Now I guess uh, let's, I'm just gonna chat with everyone. Get myself some, some doubloons for my trouble because I still haven't completed that quest. And then my computer ran out of storage, so OBS stopped recording. Please subscribe so I can afford new SSD. Also, I want 200k subs. Only if you're enjoying the video, though. Uh, what happened? Uh, so I won, of course. No, I'm not lying. You can tell by the hat on my head that I definitely didn't spawn in. Man, why did I write that joke in? Now I'm gonna have to read comments that I cheated forever. Then, you know, I, I planted my strawberries and whatnot and noticed I was not recording, but... You know, now we back in real time. Let's go. We did it. Nice. Uh, and the forge rolls are ready. Okay, that's huge. Um, wow. Kind of wish I'd had more forethought. I, I should have just waited to plant the strawberries by day. I don't even think, I, I, I don't plant a lot of these forageables, so I, I didn't I didn't notice that they were almost ready. So I guess what I'll do is go buy maybe some more potatoes and just plant them on these sprinkler spots so they aren't wasted. Something like that. Don't know what I'll do with all these. Actually, you know what? Maybe, maybe what I'll just do is craft these into more wild seeds and we'll see. Don't know how many spaces we'll be able to fit, but probably a decent chunk. I think these should all be getting watered. After watering my crops, I donated some more stuff to the community center. Spring crops completed. 20 speed grow. Nice. Uh, I think I'll just chuck those on the strawberries for now, I guess, right? Upgraded my pickaxe to iron so I could work on getting rid of those big rocks that were really annoying me and kind of messing up my sprinkler setup. All right, steel pickaxe. My rocks are going to be gone very, very soon. And worked on unlocking the minecarts. Finally got the second scarecrow up. I might have forgotten, lost another cauliflower. <laughs> But it's okay, it's just one cauliflower. Not exactly crippling, plus all the strawberries are safe, which are the real money makers. Anywho, wasn't really feeling like doing anything too productive today, so I kind of just worked on a couple of chores, you know, I watered all my crops, of course, cut down some trees, and then started fishing. Oh, <gasps> no way! I got a fire quartz! Let's go! Now I can donate this to the museum, and I don't have to get to floor 80. Just kidding, I still have to get to floor 80, because I need to get gold bar but you know whatever still saves me some time i guess since they can be pretty rare okay a couple more fish collected i think i'm just gonna drop these off uh then honestly just go to bed i think i'm gonna do a mining day tomorrow oh wait no no i was gonna buy salad too i'll buy some salad and i guess yeah just go mining because I, I want to get the mine cards. They're going to save me so much time. I, I always try to get them super early. Oh, wait, but I'm going to be exhausted. Did I level up a skill? I accidentally exhausted myself fishing. Yeah, I think I hit fishing level 8. So I think I should be good. Just barely. We will see. I think I got this, though. Nice. Five Omni Geodes. Guess we can open those. All right, uh, I guess I'm just gonna buy a backpack, grab my pickaxe, and then have, head over to the mines and get mining. This is crazy how much food I'm getting from the trash cans. Thank you, luck. Yippee! 24 slots just for me. I can actually afford to carry all this food with me now. So I think my goal today, um, there is no chance I'm going to level up as much as I did. I'm feeling, I'm feeling probably like maybe, maybe 10 floors, no more. Maybe 15 if I'm lucky. It was a pretty good mining day. I managed to make it all the way down to floor 70, which was a little bit below my goal of 80, but still decent progress. And I could definitely knock out 70 to 80 in just one or two more days, probably. Definitely one action now that I'm saying it. We have uh, managed to do it. Okay, now we just need to leg it home. All right, we have to go. We have to go. We have to go. It is going to be kind of close, but I think we're going to be just fine. As long as we don't like, I don't know, do something dumb. Oh, man. <sighs> Negative 1k. It's fine. At least we leveled up. Plus one more per vein. That will save me a lot of time mining. On spring 17th, I gathered up all my gemstones and geodes for a quick sell slash opening and donate. And then, since I had a surprising amount of time left in the day, I managed to make it to level 80 in the mines finally. Nice. Um, wow. I just came down here because I had a full energy bar, but we have made it to the floors. I guess my objective for the rest of the day is going to be grab five gold, which we have completed already. And then I guess find a void essence too. This guy should hopefully give me what I need. Thank you very much. All right. That's literally everything I need. That should be the mine carts unlocked as early as tonight. All right. Got a small magnet ring. Don't need it because I got two giant ones when I was mining. 
I fished the rest of the day for catfish for a quick cash injection since it was raining and it was kind of stupid to waste the chance to get these super valuable fish. Then got a little bit of community center strategizing in. Two more things donated. And I think that's basically every single thing I can get in spring, except um, I do, I could technically get these, but I think what I'm just gonna do is do the ones that aren't parsnips, but eh, actually, mm. Well, you know, they are kind of rare. No, I think I'll do the other seasons because I'll just use quality fertilizer then. I'll think about maybe doing them, but I probably won't. Thanks to my excellent planning, I'm gonna get this donated and then promptly pass out because I might've forgotten to pick it up from the thing in time, but hey, one star. We got the carts done, baby. That's gonna speed it up big time. But hey, woohoo. We got the cards, baby. Okie dokie, I just, uh, I figure I'll just complete these two quests right away, get them out of my face, because they're insanely easy to do, and yeah, Joji's just gonna be standing right here, so I'll give her the cauliflower really quickly, and nice. That'll give me 350 gold, perfect. Damn, this many spring onions probably would've been nicer closer to the start, because I actually have salad now, but whatever, it's still a little bit energy. Oh my god, what the- Holy crap! Guys, do you see it? Okay, it actually feels like a crime to destroy the Among Us spring onions. <laughs> oh my god, I had the best job, man. After that extremely <laughs> hilarious uh, interaction, I just spent the rest of the day fishing. Fishing had gotten a lot easier. Since I had the backpack <clears throat> upgrade now, I didn't have to constantly be shuffling between chests and whatnot. I just had enough space for all the fish I needed. It was pretty uneventful, except for the end. Yo! Treasure chest and diamond. <laughs> okay, dude, I will take that happily. What the? The last cast of the night, too. Okay, that's good. It's like, what, plus a lot of money? <laughs> I'm not gonna sell it today just because I don't really need to, and it's just kind of cool to, like, have lying around. I'm just shocked I actually managed to get one. <laughs> kind of crazy. This is a forageable, the Moriel, that I was really worried about not getting. Purely because it's like a spring, it's the one of the only thing in spring that you actually like really need for the community center. And you have like a decent chance to just straight up not get it. I hadn't really mentioned it, but I was just kind of manifesting that it wouldn't be a problem. And we'll be saved, thankfully, which is great. Everything else we can kind of just get like any time of the year, most things, besides the crops, obviously, but I already have those. So the main thing was this bad boy, but it's under lock now. I just realized I'm a bozo. I specifically chose the mushroom cave so I could get the Moriel, and my plan was to just buy the other trees. It's whatever. Okay, cool. You guys want to know something? I'm kind of an idiot. I have a steel pickaxe, yet I did not remove these rocks. After that embarrassing realization, I just spent the rest of the day farming in the mines. I was trying to get some gold and iron and just generally more copper, basically all the ores up and running, since I needed the copper for furnaces and the iron and the gold for, for better sprinklers when it turned to summer so I could replace all of my basic sprinklers and not waste a ton of tiles. Because basic sprinklers are really good on the big farms because you have plenty of space. Because basic sprinklers, while super easy to make, are obviously really space inefficient. But when space actually does matter on a farm like this, rushing the quality of sprinklers is definitely definitely worth it. It is the harvest today. We're making big money today. I am very excited. <laughs> uh, okay, you know, we're like two seconds of the day. Might as well. I also got a little bit of quartz, especially fire quartz. So that is going to be excellent. I'm also, oh my gosh, my inventory is going to be so full. Okay, I need to empty this really quick before I collect everything. We've reached that point in the Stardew playthrough where the third chest is being added. That means we're really making some progress now. I'm gonna wait one day to sell these so I can level up my farming and snag 10% more money. It's just kind of stupid not to, honestly. I think I'm also gonna gift Caroline. I completely forgot about gifting her because you can do that really good money-making method. She doesn't really like anything though. I think I'll give her gold quality daffodils and she does like those, but not love. Oh, of course, I only have silver. I have gold of literally everything else, but no gold daffodil. Oh nice, I found a gold daffodil while walking to the CC. Figured I'd do a quick CC run while I'm here. No harm in it. Come on, Caroline. I, I just want to give you a flower, Caroline. Come on. She's thinking about it. She thought about it. She thought about it. Oh, let me in. Thought I had my chance. I'm not good enough, friends. Unlucky. Does she really just prepare to talk to Abigail by turning slightly to the left? <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my god, finally. Okay, take your goddamn flower. Jesus Christ. Holy smokes.
How is that even possible? Actually, longest conversation ever. That was like a two-hour convo between them. The 21st was a pretty low-key day of mining and farming for ores till late, and the 22nd, I bought myself the copper axe upgrade and sold some strawberries I'd built up to finally buy myself an iridium rod. I wanted a comfortable backup of money since I don't like going down to zero gold. It just kind of feels bad in case I duty to buy something for whatever reason. I just used my new iridium rod to fish for the rest of the day. The 23rd was another full fishing day since I really wanted to go for the legend fish and needed level 9 fishing so I could have a chance to try for it. There was no plus 2 fishing so I needed to get 9. I could just use a trout soup to go from 9 to 10. The 24th is of course the flower dance where all the NPCs get together and dance. Normally, someone would be romancing a character so they'd be able to dance with them but uh I, I i did not so i had no reason to go but it felt wrong to skip it so i went anyways may as well show up here just to buy these so i can maybe make some more seed packets later probably gonna be a waste of money but whatever i guess i'll just you know watch the thing again like i always do alone with no one but who cares about the flower dance i spent the rest of the day farming copper like a kick a chat i cannot say that with a straight face strawberries again let's go Strawberries actually don't make as much as I remember, to be honest, but we don't actually, we won't actually be needing as much money as a normal playthrough, purely because we're just not gonna have as much space to plant crops. Well, we won't be getting any more harvests from these, so I uh, guess, guess I'll just pick up all the sprinklers, probably break all these, and then I'm gonna see if I can find like a way more efficient way to place these out. We are going to be swapping to quality since we have farming level 6, but you know. These two pieces of wood are really annoying me, so I'm just going to wait until my axe is done upgrading and then buy one. I'm also not entirely sure, but I feel like I might be able to fit a barn and a coop here, but I really don't know. I think we're going to have to sacrifice a little bit of farming space so we can get ourselves a coop and a barn. And I think I'm going to get one like pretty soon here. I think I might spend the rest of my energy just probably cutting down trees because you need a lot of wood to get a coop. I don't think you need stone though, which is kind of nice. Before we can build a coop, we're gonna have to move our cell bin and we're gonna put it very much out of the way right there. And then if I'm not crazy, I mean, we could actually just buy a barn right now. We could do a coop to a coop. I feel like it'd probably be smart if we put a coop like, like here. Yeah, I think here is pretty good. So actually in lieu of that, wait, let me grab wood really quick. All right, can the barn fit? It's a moment of truth yes it barely fits okay we can't quite align it with the path which is unlucky i wonder if i can break that why risk it how much time do i have yeah I'm, I'm sure i'll be back in time i can in fact not break it okay get me out of here okay we barely have enough time all right all right all right well chucker that what 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 oh my god okay i was having a heart attack why couldn't i build there bro that's that's actually scaring me <laughs> Okay, we're fine, we're fine. One thing that's gonna be kind of annoying is that I'm gonna have to pay for 100% of all the hay costs, which is, is gonna be like actually quite expensive. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I'm gonna bother buying a silo. I think I'll just like put a chest inside the barn for now. But yeah, we'll we'll see if that becomes a nightmare. All right, right here, this is critical because we got the quality sprinklers. Also a cheese press so we can make cheese with our milk when this barn is eventually built. Robin is probably very confused as to why I'm even here for a farm this small, but you know, it'd be rude to, to like disrespect my grandpa's memory like that. Oh yeah, you might've noticed I set this up. Uh, yeah, I, I know crows can't come when there's 15 crops below planted, but I'm not taking any risks, man, okay? <laughs> no risks, period. Objective number one is make 19 quality sprinklers. I probably should have double checked if I can even put down that many, but you know, whatever. Uh, let's see how many we can fit. All right, this is my best attempt, keyword attempt at a setup. It's actually, you know, it's pretty efficient, like depending on what I have. Like sure, over here, this is a complete travesty. Like what the hell is this? what am i doing but it's it's i think it's worth it just because we have such a little space now we just need to make sure we have it all covered with scarecrows and of course i left down here six by three it's literally a perfect fit okay that's great and can i fit below yes i can okay nice so this uh we're, we're gonna be chilling for sure yeah being chilling and you know what there we go this is just gonna be a few more crops because <laughs> because why not that is just beautiful you know a, the peak of efficiency. 
Day 27, since it was raining, I spent all day up in the mountain with a trout soup eaten, trying to get the legend fish, and uh, I made an extremely disturbing discovery. I had not caught a legend fish for hours, and there was actually a pretty good reason why I wasn't catching one, that uh, you're about to see my live reaction to finding out. Just keep in mind you need level 10 to even have a chance to catch the legend fish, and I'm level 9. 10 with the soup. Oh. My. God. Guys. I haven't eaten this. Ha no! <laughs> okay, we're fine. We have a few more chances. Please. <laughs> okay, please. Come on. You can't do this to me. I've been fishing for 25 minutes. If I have to restart today, I will actually cry. Okay, guys. Here's the grim reality. I just fished 25 minutes, and I didn't get the legend fish. Do I want to restart the day? I could definitely get it. That's a fact. I know I could. If it's not raining, then it's it's game over and we, we don't get the legend fish, but... Dude, why didn't I check the TV in the morning? What am I doing? Oh, I mean, I guess... Oh, yes! Okay. Okay. It's time to run up there and not be an idiot and catch the gosh. The gosh freaking darn legend fish. Oh my god. Okay, we caught it. Jesus. Gold star too. Not too bad, actually. Good for me. That was way too much of a nightmare. Oh my god, we have fishing level 10 too. That's kind of funny. That just shows you how much fishing I did over those two days. I had like 200 bait and now I have like 116. So you guys have no idea how much I did. I was actually about to give up and like cry if I had to restart that day. I'm so glad it rained today. Like it wouldn't have been the end of the world. Like fish, um, legend fish isn't my main goal, but holy smokes. Just this would have sucked. Holy smokes, wait, I didn't even notice. I got the barn. I should have bought some animals. They could have started growing up. Whatever, I'll, I'll handle that summer first tomorrow because it's time to go to summer. Then I took a break in real life and forgot to record the following day. So I do not have summer first on recording. But you know, I just set up all the crops I needed and my farm ended up looking like this. Also guys, please like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video. I'm probably gonna make a part two, but seeing all you guys, seeing if, if you guys actually enjoyed the video, make me very motivated.